In this video, we're going to be looking at a really cool Nintendo Switch dock that looks like an old retro PC with that CRT monitor. So, without further delay, let's dive in. So to kick things off, a little bit of context, because this isn't your normal alien gaming video. So as some of you might know, one of my hobbies is 3D printing. I've got a resin printer and an FDM printer, and I really enjoy printing files, whether I get them off the internet from Thingiverse, etc., or whether I design them myself in 3D CAD. Now, I'm sure you've seen in the videos where we've done the Look Fox Pico case, and then, of course, we've got those keycap keyrings, etc. They're all on the Etsy shop. I'm sure you've all seen that by now. But again, I'll put a link in the description below. So the idea behind the video series on 3D printing, each video, I want to showcase a really cool product that I've printed off myself or designed and printed myself. Whether it's on the Etsy shop or not, I just want to show you guys what I've been up to with my 3D printers. Now in this video, of course, we're going to look at a really cool dock for the Nintendo Switch. This dock looks like an old retro PC. You put your Switch in the monitor, which looks like a CRT monitor, and then the base of the PC that the monitor stands on, it's got some drawers for your Switch games and your Joy-Con controllers. Now before we look at the print itself, here's a quick message from today's sponsor, PCBWay. The folks over at PCB Way are celebrating their 10th anniversary and from me to them, I just want to thank them for everything they've done over the years, helping people bring their ideas to life. Now I'm sure you all know who PCB Way are, you design your own circuit boards, you send them the files and they bring your ideas to life at really competitive prices. They don't only do circuit boards, they'll also 3D print your STL files. So let's take a look at it in action. As you know, I designed the Lookfox Pico case. So let's drag and drop that STL file across, and you can find this file on Thingiverse. Again, link in the description. We're going to set it to PLA, and we want one. And then, of course, you can change the colors if you so wish. Then all we need to do is submit the request and then hit agree and then what will happen is a member of the PCB way team will have a look at your STL file make sure there's no issues with it and once they've approved it you can then proceed to the checkout and order your print so I just want to thank PCB way for being today's sponsor right back to the video now of course the keen eyed amongst you have probably already seen it in the background but Let's take a closer look. Now, I must admit, this is one of the most impressive prints that I've done so far, but it's not perfect. It does have a bit of a flaw. If you tilt the screen slightly to the right, the switch will just slide out and hit the deck. I'm not saying it's happened to me, but it, it could happen. Now, one of the cool things about this print, the PC section at the bottom, does have some sliding drawers. We've got two on the left for your Switch games, holding up to a total of 12 games. And then on the right hand side, we've got this handy drawer that you can put your Joy-Cons in. So let's have a look at each individually printed part on its own. Now, of course, we have the PC base and this actually took about 13 hours to print. It printed upright like this and it didn't need any supports or anything. It was just a case of slapping it on there and printing it out and it came out really nice. Next, we have one of the drawers. This took about two hours, two hours, 10 minutes. As you can see, it just slots straight in there. I did have to give it a little bit of a sand because it was just a tad too tight. That's what she said. <laughs> And then, of course, we've got those two floppy disk drive game storage drawers. And I printed two of these, each one taking about an hour and 50 minutes. And of course, you can store six games on each. And now for the CRT monitor section where the switch goes in. Now, I did remove some of the supports from underneath. As you can see, this section here, it wasn't really required. And this took about 17 hours to print. So not a quick print. The base for it, and it kind of goes in an angle, which looks really cool. So the monitor's slightly tilted up. The base itself, 
that took about an hour and 50 minutes as well. So the total print time for this was about 40 hours and I used about 800 grams of filament so not far off a whole reel of filament. Now one thing I think I should go over is cost because some people think 3D printing is really expensive. Well that's because it used to be really expensive. My first printer was over a thousand pound, about twelve hundred dollars. But this printer that I've got here, which is the Elegoo Neptune 3 Pro, was only hundred and fifty dollars, which is about hundred and twenty seven pound. And it's got loads of features packed into it. Now of course this isn't an in-depth review of the printer. If you want to see that, if enough people drop a comment below asking for it, then I will do that full review. Now of course the only other cost you've got apart from the printer is the filament itself and I like to use Eason PLA plus and I'm paying about $15.99 to $18.99 per kilogram reel which is about $18 to $20. Now I know in America a friend of mine he's paying about $16 for his so the price will vary from place to place but the filament that I used for this Nintendo Switch dock is called Silk Purple and that's what it gives it that really cool sheen. So all in all, the cost for me to actually produce this was $15.99 and I've still got about 200 grams of filament left on the reel to do some other bits and bobs. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this mini series on 3D printing and the stuff that I print on the 3D printers something that you're interested in and you're going to watch going forward? And of course the best way to show appreciation and if you enjoy my content don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and then give that bell a little tinkle so you don't miss any future uploads. I'm JP, you've been watching Alien Gaming and as always I'll catch you in the next one. Hey.